Elon Musk Warren Buffett Mark Zuckerberg You interested in joining the club of insanely rich and successful? Well, before you start counting your billions, you first gotta start thinking like a millionaire. Baby steps, right? To adopt the millionaire mindset, you gotta visualize your dreams. Well, this may sound pretty obvious or even weird, but it really works. You need to imagine things you want to achieve. There are a lot of ways you can do it. Close your eyes and visualize your dreams. Try to pay attention to every little detail. You're buying your dream home. You're working out at the gym. Whatever it is you want to accomplish, see it vividly in your mind. Another way you can do it is writing. Start writing your thoughts and ideas into a diary. It'd be really awesome if you try to do it the old-fashioned way. You know, with a pen and paper. <laughs> How archaic, huh? <laughs> the point is that all these actions will stimulate your brain to find solutions and ways to achieve your goals. If you have a concrete vision of your future, your brain will adapt and involve all kinds of resources to fulfill your dream. Become a learning machine. Make learning an essential part of your life. Try different things, take different courses and lessons, learn from the best. Read all kinds of books, watch movies and documentaries, get out and see the world or even your hometown. Turn your brain into a real treasure house filled with a whole slew of information. Even if it's some museum exhibit about ancient pottery techniques, you never know what knowledge or experience will be useful for you in the future. A thirst for knowledge gets you ready for anything that might arise. What's even better is you can find like-minded individuals to talk about these new things with. Conversation really helps cement information into your mind. Find a balance between perseverance and flexibility. One of the hardest things for successful people is figuring out how to turn an idea into a product. If you want to achieve something great, you must truly believe in what you've envisioned, even if you have to be stubborn about it. This will show people around you that you're really serious about your intentions. They'll see that you're not the type of person that gives up easily. But at the same time, you also have to be ready to change some details of your plan or to compromise if it's really necessary. This will help you actualize your ideas. Plus, it's a great way to find different approaches to a problem. Basically, you need to learn how to balance being a person who's ready to do anything for what they believe in and someone who's always open for discussion if it makes sense in executing a plan or idea. It's all in the attitude. How you feel about your work can make or break your future success. Try to think about it like, what job would I choose if I didn't need a job at all? It must be something that helps you accomplish your goals and unlock your potential. It needs to be your passion. If you're sitting there counting down the hours until it's time to go home, then you probably need to find something that fits you better. I know, easier said than done when you've got bills to pay. But that's where the whole personal pursuit of knowledge comes in. Also known as learn about a sphere you're interested in. And if you have some big dream you want to achieve, but a bad attitude makes you immediately brush it off as impossible, then learn to work towards your goals in baby steps. Break it up into smaller parts that you can achieve gradually. Rome wasn't built in a day, right? Neither are millionaires, unless they inherited their riches, and in that case, yeah, well, it probably happened pretty fast. Don't be afraid to experiment. Going about a problem or plan the traditional way might seem safe, and if it worked for everyone else, it should work for you, right? Mm, I wouldn't count on it. The millionaire mindset takes a different approach. Find your own, even better way of doing things. Creating new approaches will give you a new perspective on old problems and help you find more effective solutions. An essential part of this tip is being yourself. I know, it sounds so cliché, but hear me out. Don't try to repeat the path of someone who succeeds in life. You are an individual with your own unique skills and knowledge. Don't compare yourself to others. Pave your own way. Don't wait for approval from others. I know, there's a whole thing about humans being social creatures, and we depend on others, but there are exceptions. You must always remember why you're working towards something. Here's a hint. You're doing it for yourself. Don't wait until other people start noticing you or showering you with praise. Or, of course, there's the other end of that stick. 
everyone else starts putting you down and telling you that you're wasting your time. Don't live your life based on what other people think about you. Just stop worrying about their opinions. If you're really set on achieving something, then it doesn't matter how others feel about it. You do you, and let others do them. Unless one of you is doing something destructive or hurtful, of course. That being said, accept criticism. Not giving two hoots about other people's opinions will help you achieve your goals. But there is one exception here. If you're constantly being criticized for an idea, then don't take it personally, but also don't ignore it entirely. If it's constructive criticism, that is, it has some kind of logical backing, then think of it as free advice. This kind of feedback can help steer you in a better direction. Remember the whole thing about getting different perspectives or better solutions that you might not have thought of? Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Plus, it's also a really great way to know people's needs. The right kind of criticism is a tool you should take advantage of, and millionaires know that. Understand that you're only human. Unless you're a Klingon. Failure is not the end of the world. You have to be brave enough to look in the mirror and ask yourself why something didn't work. Maybe you need to beef up your skills. Perhaps it's just the wrong place and wrong time for your idea. You know the right answer to this question. Don't even bother trying to avoid mistakes. They're inevitable because you're human. Think of it as a necessary part of the learning process. Turn your failure into wisdom. Learn from your mistakes. They usually end up teaching us the best. As a result, all the mistakes that you've ever made will give you more experience and understanding of how to do something right the next time. You also know what things to avoid if you come across a similar problem in the future. That's the struggle, or perhaps the beauty, of being human. Mistakes are in our blood. Nobody's perfect, and you shouldn't expect yourself to be. Don't overthink. I know it's easier said than done when all those thoughts come flooding into your mind. Will I succeed or not? Am I the right person for this? Maybe I should just give up. <clears throat> That's why you just have to turn off your brain and silence those thoughts. All they do is put you under a bunch of pressure and stress you out. Yeah, there will be a lot of unpleasant moments in your life, so you need to be ready to handle them. There will be times when you feel that you're stuck or even broken. But you have to fight those thoughts with logic. I can do this because I'm smart, driven, and I have a plan. Success all starts in your head. You just have to train your brain to think like a millionaire. So, which of these million-dollar tips are you going to start working on first? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of Life.